the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we do. Boys.com live here with Ronnie Shields. Ronnie, man, we just seen you in New York, and uh, man, they gave you the banner, huh? <laughs> Guys got the banner in the uh, gym here, so uh, talk to me, man. He seems very happy. He seems almost like a different person. Uh, you know, he still has that bravado and aggression but happy uh, you know he's his training is going great so we you know we're putting in a lot of hard work man and he realizes this and the closer the fight get the happier he gets he seems also mature both of them actually i know you're not with jamel anymore but um they speak of the politics like they understand boxing and what's going on and no matter you know what they want it's not always what they're going to get. Right. Um, how is it working with a guy like that that's level-headed? Well, I mean, you know, it makes it a lot easier that they know the business, you know. Now, you know, explain it to them, you know, all these years, and now they see it for themselves. And, they, you know, once you put it in perspective, then you know what to expect and what not to expect. Now, you're in a bit in a situation, you're in a bit of a, a rock and a hard place because you know Jamel and you train Laura. And uh, obviously, Laura's going into this fight with Jared Hurd, but if he comes out victorious, the world, out, not just, you know, Jamal, Jamel, but the world will be pushing for a unification at 54. Um, are you open to that? Do you look forward to that? Every time they Laura wants to be the unified champ. So, so that's it, know, 2018, no more friends. That's it. I mean, you know, this, is, this is about business. You know, boxing is about business. You know, I mean, you, you can still be friends. Nothing wrong with being friends. But it's nothing wrong with guys working bread together either. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is boxing. You, you know, people want to see one champion. They don't want to see three or four champions. They want to see one. And Lara acts to be, you know, he wants to unify all the belts. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but we got a task in front of us in Jared Hurd. We got to get by that task first. And then, after that, then we got to look at Jamil. And how do you see that playing out with Hurd? I mean, he's big, bro. I was just, obviously you've seen him in New York. He seems bigger than maybe Jamal in terms of at least height. I don't know about, no, you because know, yeah, Jamal no. is very cut up. Yeah. Look, Hurd is a tall guy. He is. But, you know, look. He has to make 154 pounds just like Eric Lange Law. And th that's what it is. Does yeah. his aggression play into Laura's counterpunching style? Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I asked him why does he take that many punches. He says if he doesn't feel anything on the punches, he's just confident. Right. Well, look, you know, look. I think her since he won the title, he's probably about a 40% better fighter than what he was before he won the title. Mm. And that's because in volumes. You know, that a guy is champion of the world, he feels good, you know, and he knows that, you know, this is the opportunity to make a lot of money in this sport. So, why not? You know, I mean, that's, that's the way he feels and that's, you know, and look, he's a good fighter, so you can't take it away from him. It works for him the way he fights. So, you know, what we have to do is just use that against him. So, you have your own facility. This is just the uh, Charlo Brothers, right? Yes. You still have the, the... Yes, Flex. Flex Center, okay. Yes. And that's where Laura trains? Yes. All right. You have a session with him today? Yes, I did. Oh, you did already? Absolutely. All right, how's he looking? He's looking great, man. You know, he's, he's been off a couple months now. You know, he got back off on of vacation after the first of the year. Ready to, you know, he's been, he's been doing his conditioning. You know, now he's back in the gym, and now he's uh, focusing on the game plan that I'm giving him to uh, fight Jared Allen. Now, how do you feel his last couple of opponents uh, prepare him for a Jared Hurd, or do they not? Those were just situations, because yeah. it was um, Yuri Foreman, and then you just had Terrell Gachet, the former yeah. Olympian. Right. <laughs> well, you know, neither one of those guys fight anything like Jared Hurd. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. So we, we actually didn't know that, you know, if we knew back then that was going to be leading up to fight Jared Hood, then maybe we would have did somebody different. Mm -hmm. But look, Laura is a champion. And he faces anybody they put in front of him. He doesn't care. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, Laura is one of the few guys that's been calling out Triple G for the last three years. Yes. Haven't heard anything. They don't want to fight him. 
So, and you know, he calls out Canelo, he calls out the best, he calls out the best guys. And that's simple as that, that's who, that's who he is. But now, Ronnie, you know his style. Can you change it this late in the game so that he doesn't fall behind on cards or that the judges don't rob him in the Canelo fight? Like, yeah, it's mixed. Some people thought he won, some people thought he didn't. Some people thought he did enough, some people feel he moved too much or he didn't let his hands go enough is always his complaint. Well, or the here's, here's complaint. the thing. Every time they style is his style. That's the way he fights. He's been successful at it. Look, everybody know that he beat Paul Williams also. You know, everybody. Even Paul Williams thought he beat him. So, look, it is what it is. You gotta take a person for who they are. I'm not changing every line in his style for anybody, for anything. That's what it is. You love it or you hate it. Mm. But at the same time, in the sport of boxing, you, the whole good thing is to judge. You have to judge not only on one thing, you got to judge on all things. You know, everybody can't have the same style in fighting, in boxing. If you want two guys, if you want boxing to be, okay, two guys standing in the middle of the ring and just go at it, let's see who wins. That's not the sport of boxing. Boxing wasn't made that way. Muhammad Ali had his own style. Nobody questioned his style. Nobody questioned, say, oh, you ran too much, or you did this, or you did that. That was his style. That's what he did. People understood that back then, and so they got to understand it now. Every time they love, it's not going to change the style for anybody or anything for any kind of politics. Unanimous decision, or does he shock us? Shock you? <laughs> uh, yeah, when's the last time Laura got a stoppage? Uh, you were former. But Yuri's no Jared Hurd. Well, he's, he's not a Jared Hurd. But, but look, I mean, I, but, I would say look, Angula, right? I would think, I would think, is, I would think like this. It doesn't matter. You win know, is a win. You're right. You know, it doesn't matter if we stop Jared Hurd or if we just beat him up by decision. We don't care. Yeah, but the know? decision is where they rob the Cubans. It's not just him, it's the Cubans. And this has not been a good year <laughs> or a year and a half for Cubans, let's be honest. I mean, well, hopefully uh, Ortiz and Laura we can change can, things. We can't worry about, you know, one thing what we don't do is worry about what judge is going to think. Okay. We don't worry about that. You know, we train the way we train. Laura trains hard, he's been very successful at the way he's been fighting. And look, you either love him or you hate him. People love Muhammad Ali, but so many people hated him for the same way, for the same thing. Mm -hmm. And Ali still became the greatest fighter in the history of boxing. Eric Lani Lara is not going to complain being the second greatest boxer in the world. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through th its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.